Hey guys, welcome to another automation series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can install Docker and Docker Compose via Ansible. Um, if you've been following my home lab series, um, we install Docker and Docker Compose in probably like 90% of our videos. So time to automate it in Ansible so that we don't need to do it. Um, so let's get started. All right, so um, we will go to our GitLab project here. We'll go to our Ansible Playbooks repository and we will edit and use the web IDE here. Um, so what we'll do is essentially create a playbook. We'll call it like install docker.yaml and we will start writing the playbook. So first off, we'll start off with the header three hyphens. We'll name this playbook to be install docker and a docker compose. We'll set up the host um, to be just a variable that we can use, and we'll set the default to be localhost in case the variable isn't used. And that should be set right there. And then we will create the task for this. So the first task is essentially to um, add the Docker repository. So in, in all of our steps, um, we add it from the repository. Give me one second, I have to spell repository, right? <laughs> um, so we'll actually use the Ansible built-in command um, because the, re the repository module um, for like yum stuff doesn't include adding, adding a repository. It does um, like enabling something or disabling and a few other things, but not adding. So what we'll, we'll do is essentially run the command that we would usually run um, when doing this. So uh, we'll do yum config manager add repo, and we'll do the HTTPS download uh, docker.com slash Linux slash CentOS, and then docker ce dot repo, like how we usually do it. Um, and then we'll add the augs that this command should create the etsy yum repos dot d slash docker ce dot repo. Um, so we want to try to make this item component as possible. So when this runs, um, this will actually add this file. So if this file already exists, this won't run again. Um, and so that's why we, we create the arguments create here. So after that, we should be able to install Docker CE with the just built in yum module, built in yum name Docker CE, and we'll just install the latest in here. And then after it's installed, what we want to do is restart and enable Docker. So in this case, we'll just use the Ansible built in service here, and we will restart um, Docker as well as Able. So the state will be restarted. So if it's started, it will restart it. If it's not started, it'll just start it. Um, and then we want to just make sure that it is enabled so that on reboot, it will also start Docker. So that is essentially all the steps that it needs to install Docker. Um, but we can also do Docker Compose also. Um, so we'll, on this one, install Docker Compose. Um, to do so, we'll use the Ansible built-in get URL. Um, so the get URL, you can kind of treat it as like a wget or like the curl that we usually do um, to curl the binary down and download it. Um, so you can use the get URL to do the same thing. So we'll specify the URL, which is https github.com docker compose releases did I spell that right? Releases. Um, download, and then we'll get the 2.5.0 version. Docker Compose Linux x86.64. And then we'll set the destination to be user local bin docker compose, as well as set the mode. So this is the mode is essentially the permissions that you want to set it as. So what we're going to do is 755, which is essentially um, everything, read, write, execute for the owner, and then read and execute for group and read execute for others. So the ch mod would essentially give the last execute for everything. So that's what essentially we're doing here. So that should essentially be it to install Docker and Docker Compose on a machine. So what we do here is um, 
install docker and docker compose, we'll commit these changes, commit to main, and then what we'll do here, that pipeline will run, we'll deploy out to this. We will actually go in here and let's make sure this project's updated. So if we want to make sure the project finished updating here, so that's successful. Um, so we'll go here, we'll add a template and this will be install docker and docker compose. We'll select the inventory to be our inventory and we'll select the playbook to be install docker. We'll use our root credential here to log in for, for the server login and we'll save that. Then we can go to surveys and in here we can add the host name and the variable will be host name and save this. So, and then enable the survey. So what we can do is launch this. We can launch this against our demo server install. Um, and before that, let's log into our demo server real quick. So we can see that if we ran like the doc command, it's not actually installed and doc compose isn't installed either if we do the version. So that is good. So we'll run this now. So we'll launch this and let it run. This should only take like about a minute or two. However fast, you know, Docker, it takes for Docker to really install. The rest is pretty quick and simple. So uh, we'll let this run and we'll fast forward. Okay, so now that finished, it took a minute and 24 seconds to run it all. You can see that these are all changed, which means it actually did something. Um, so it added the repository, installed Docker, re restarted Docker, and then installed Docker Compose. So, now, if we were to go back onto the server and run the same commands, we can see Docker's running and Docker Compose is installed now. So there you go, guys. That's how you can Ansible uh, a Docker and Docker Compose install for your servers and let it run across all the ones that you need it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.